Uganda, like other African countries, has a lot of potential that would enable its people to earn substantially from what they do for a living. This has been inhibited by lack of knowledge and the appropriate technology to utilize the resources at our disposal. However, a lot of effort has been invested in improving agricultural productivity, which is currently Uganda's predominant activity. Previously, Uganda's agricultural sector has been characterized by poor methods of farming, such as application of manual labor at every stage of agricultural productivity, like using a handheld hoe to open up the land, poor seed multiplication methods, and poor post-harvest handling. The results of all that has been limited acreage of the land opened up for agriculture, poor quality seeds, poor yields, poor storage, and that has consequently affected the value addition and access to markets. However, a number of interventions from a cross-section of players, both from government and non-government organizations, to improve on the agricultural sector have been undertaken. One of such interventions has come from Sasakawa Global 2000, a joint program between Sasakawa Africa Association and Global 2000 of the Carter Center in Atlanta. Sasakawa Africa Association was founded by the late Ryoicho Sasakawa, the chairman of the Nippon Foundation to Stem Hunger in Africa. His dream to control hunger was reinforced with the help of Dr. Norman Boleg, an agricultural scientist widely considered as the father of the Green Revolution in Pakistan and India in the 1960s, and the Carter Foundation. Sasakawa Global 2000 began its activities in 1986 in Ghana and Sudan, then spreading in more than 10 sub-Saharan countries and developing its partnerships and agricultural programs. The Sasakawa Global 2000 Agricultural Project in Uganda, SG2000, is a joint partnership between Sasakawa Africa Association, SAA, and the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, MAIF. Sasakawa Global 2000 Uganda Chapter activities are being implemented by a committed staff under the leadership of Dr. Abu Michael Foster. Other staff members include B.R.E. Kayayo, Charles Sembatia, Hilary Semana and Beatrice Luzove. The team implements the program to sustainably empower the farmers through enterprise development and institutional capacity building. Under the enterprise development approach, farmers have been taught appropriate methods of opening up the land, planting high-value seeds for bigger harvest, weeding the planted crop, and post-harvest handling. The farmers have also been empowered in appropriate agro-processing methods. This has enabled farmers to add value to their harvests to enable them access better markets for better incomes. Particular attention has been put on strengthening the capacity of local manufacturers to fabricate and build recommended smallholder post-harvest and agro-processing machinery and equipment. On the side of animal enterprises, farmers are also participating in the multiplication of local poultry, piggery, fish packaging and apiary through partnerships. Under the institutional capacity building approach, a number of trainings have been conducted in areas of group formation and development, resource mobilization, farming as a business and cross-cutting issues. Currently, SG2000 is spearheading an initiative of supporting rural communities to build capacity to maintain their own services on a commercially viable basis based on the One Stop Center Association OSCA, concept. The One Stop Center Association provides productivity enhancing services to members and the rural community on a cost recovery basis. The core services include technical support for production, agro-processing and marketing. 
A management structure is set up where the association recruits a center manager to run the one-stop center. For the 11 years Sasakawa Global 2000 Agricultural Project has been in Uganda, it has been able to fund research efforts that have come up with high-yield food crops such as quality protein maize known as narongo, quality rice species called nerika 4, pigeon peas, groundnuts, cassava and sorghum. SG2000 implements its activities together with other partners such as NARO, JICA, NADS, the private sector and the Japanese Embassy in Uganda. This partnership has enabled farmers to acquire technical support and equipment for their products such as rice mills, among other things. All said and done, the dream to sustainably empower farmers through the One Stop Center Association approach has been achieved. Over 13 one-stop centers have been established to enhance agricultural productivity. 100,000 households have benefited from the SG2000 agricultural project. An assortment of 154 fabricated machines to ease agricultural production have been made. And a total of 52, of which 41 are male, technical resource persons and nearly 10,000 farmers majority of whom are women, have been trained in institutional capacity building. Over 50,000 farmers are engaged in various commercial agricultural enterprises annually. <laughs>